UFC 259 was full of excitement. Starting off with Islam Makayev showing to us why he may be the next Habib Nurmagomedov and can run through the 155 pound division. Then we got Aljamain Sterling versus Piotr Jan. It was a great fight, grueling, back and forth. It did end in a disqualification, unfortunately. It was a very poor decision by Piotr Jan to knee Aljamain Sterling in the face. Supposedly, his corner told him to kick him. If that's true, I don't know how Piotr Jan will react with his corner. I would be very upset. That is absolutely absurd for his corner to tell him to kick the guy. Aljamain Sterling wasn't able to continue. Uh, I completely understand it. He looked concussed after it. It was a disqualification, and Aljamain Sterling was not happy to win the belt how he did. I couldn't imagine dedicating my life to something and for him to finally get to that moment and not be able. It doesn't feel like his title, you know? It feels empty to him, and it clearly did when he was doing his press conference with Joe Rogan. He wasn't very happy about getting the belt this way. I 100%... There has to be a rematch between Piotr Jan and Aljamain Sterling. I think it's going to happen around mid-summer, mid to late summer. I'm thinking July, August. We'll probably have to wait until we see Aljamain Sterling's medical suspension because he was concussed. Concussed. I believe it's going to be 30 days because that's similar to how they treat knockouts, but I am not completely certain of that. Then right after, we got Amanda Nunez versus Megan Anderson. And you know, they show the odds in the UFC broadcast telling us, oh, this is the favorite, this is the underdog. I saw a minus 910 on Amanda Nunez. Now, me personally, I knew Amanda Nunez was going to win the fight. I 100% I, I believe that. But minus 910? I got to bet almost $1,000 to win 100. But the fight kicked off, took her a minute, and Amanda Nunez showed us why she's minus 910 favorite. Absolutely insane. She throws bricks. Her hands are solid concrete blocks. When she hits someone, they're gone. She hit Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson could not find her feet under her. And then it just progressed. Took her 30 more seconds and she got her in a inverted triangle arm bar. What is this savagery to get someone in an inverted triangle arm bar? Amanda Nunez is the greatest women's fighter of all time and is arguably the greatest MMA fighter of all time. There are definitely arguments John Jones, Khabib Nurmagomedov, George St. Pierre, but Amanda Nunez is right up there at the top being one of the greatest female one of the greatest fighters of all time, excuse me. Then finally we got the main event, Israel Adesanya, 20 and 0 heading in versus Jan Blahovitz. The light heavyweight title just recently won his belt, trying to prove to the world that he is here to stay in the 205-pound division. Israel Adesanya weighed in under at about 201, which proves that he did not gain very much weight for the fight, and that would end up hurting him in the fight, considering Jan would end up taking him down, wrestling him near the in the championship rounds, the fourth and fifth, absolutely wearing down Israel Adesanya. He couldn't, he couldn't do anything on the ground. Part of it was technique. Part of it was just weight. He wasn't as big as Jan Blahovitz, But it all contributed into Jan Blahovitz getting the decision win in the fifth round. Uh, the scorecards kind of got me confused. I'm not going to lie. 49-46, a very normal scorecard. That's, that's about as normal as it gets. But then there was a 49-45. And there's two of them. I'm not sure how you get a 49-45 score. I was like thinking about it as I was heading home. Uh, I haven't seen the official uh, referee scorecard, so I can't really look at anything to see why it was 49-45. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how you get that score. Was there like a so if there was a 10-8, but then there couldn't a 9-8. That wouldn't make sense with UFC scoring because the winner of the round automatically has to get 10 points while the loser gets 9, 8, and so forth. Uh, so I kept thinking about it. I was like, was there a 10-8 and a 10-7? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. It was a very confusing score. But where do these fighters go on from here? Let's start off with Is uh, Islam Makayev. Islam's going to have to fight one of the top fighters in the 155-pound division. 
Uh, I'm hearing Tony Ferguson because Tony Ferguson isn't really in that title race, especially uh, after what happened with Justin Gaethje. Um, I don't see Khabib coming back at all because I think it's he sees it as Islam's time. That's it. Uh, he could could potentially fight Dan Hooker, but I don't think that I don't think that's the fight they want to set up. They want to probably get him into the top five. So you're looking at Poirier, Chandler, uh, McGregor, um, Gaethje, and Ferguson. Wait, and, and Charles over Oliveira. I don't remember the rankings off the top of my head. I'm hella failing. But so I'm thinking against Ferguson. I want him to get Khabib because I know I kind of want to see that like that. Not Khabib, that Connor fight because I want to see that Islam Connor match. You know, Khabib in the corner. It's gonna be kind of funny to see. Uh, for Piotr Jan Aljamain Sterling, obviously they're gonna have to rematch. DQ win. Aljamain's not happy with the belt. Piotr's obviously disappointed getting disqualified. Man, Nunez, bro, I, I don't even, <laughs> she, she's, I, I don't know, man, you gotta find someone, uh, Valentina Shevchenko, they were talking a lot about her, Man, Nunez would have to move down to 135, because Shevchenko refuses to move up to 145 to fight Amanda Nunez, so that's probably in the, another fight that's gonna happen in the future, that's probably the only fight left, that's the only person that can really compete with Amanda Nunez now, unless you find someone in, uh, in Dagestan. You know what, let's find a Dagestanian woman to fight Amanda Nunez. I think that's all that's left, because that is where you get all the great fighters nowadays. Lastly, we have Israel Adesanya and Jan Blachowicz. I see Israel Adesanya is going to move back to 185. He already ran through the division, he's probably going to fight a few fighters again. Um, I don't know, I don't know who he's going to fight. Uh, it was it was a very unfortunate occurrence. He I he definitely did not want to lose this fight. That John Jones thing is pretty much off the table as of right now. Especially John Jones with his tweets was not very happy. Let me rephrase that. John Jones was ecstatic. Izzy lost, and it proved to John Jones made the statement that uh, Izzy wasn't worth his time. Take that as you will, Jan Blachowicz. Absolutely great performance. Proves that he's a light heavyweight champion and he's here to stay. Probably going to fight one of those 205 pounders. Um, but that's where we are in, in the UFC right now. It's a very exciting pay-per-view. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It's been your boy Bombs and see ya.